Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about various forms of equation of line. Okay, so first we will discuss about so first we will discuss about horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, so I have drawn here this is x axis and this is y and this is minus x and this is minus y. Okay, so if the line is parallel to y axis then the equation of the line is x equal to b or it can be x equal to minus b in both the cases if it is on the right hand side means it is cutting x axis at some positive points then it is x equal to b and if it is cutting uh, some at negative point then it will be x equal minus b now let's discuss the case when the line is parallel to the horizontal axis then the equation of the line will be y equal a and if it is below the horizontal axis then it is y equal minus a and this distance is student a okay and this is also a this is y axis this is your x axis okay so this is the case when the two lines are either when the lines are either parallel to x axis or it is parallel to y axis now we will discuss about when the line is passing through it or you can say it is a point slope form so now we will discuss about point slope form okay so in this form we will be given a slope of the line let's say it is m and it is passing through a point let's say x1 comma y1 then in that case equation of the line will be equation of line is like y minus y1 is equals to m times x minus x1 where y1 and x1 are the points from which the line is passing and m is the slope of the line okay so this is the equation of the line in point slope form now let's discuss about two point form So in two point form students we are given that the line is passing through these two points let's say this is x0 comma y0 and this is x1 comma y1 okay and we need to find out the equation of this line so as you all know that i have already told you that the slope of the line will be y1 minus y0 upon x1 minus x0 so in place of m now you can put this now the equation will be y1 minus y0 upon x1 minus x0 into x minus x1 okay so this is the equation of the line when it is passing through two points okay student this is very much important to note down the different equation of the line now we will discuss about the slope intercept form so in the slope intercept form student what is intercept let me first tell you the point at which the line passing the y axis let's say this is c the distance is c and the coordinates of points will be like c this is your x axis and this is your y axis then in that case the equation of the line and we are also given the slope of the line as m so this is slope intercept form we will be given m equal slope c is intercept intercept okay so in that case the line equation is y is equals to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the intercept on the y axis okay now let's discuss about another intercept form it is only intercept form so in that case both the intercepts will be given let's say this is a comma 0 this is 0 comma b this point distance is a and this distance is b okay so in that case equation of the line will be x by a means x intercept and y by y intercept this is equals to 1 okay 
so this is the equation of the line when we are given the two intercepts okay students now we will discuss about another form which is normal form so now it is a normal form student in the normal form let's say this is the line and when a perpendicular is drawn on the line from the origin and this perpendicular is making angle omega okay so in that case slope of the line slope of the line will be tan omega so that is slope of the perpendicular is tan omega and the slope of the line then will be product slope of the line into slope of perpendicular equal minus 1 so we need to find out slope of line equal minus 1 upon slope of perpendicular okay and the slope of the perpendicular is tan omega so from this we can find out minus cos omega upon sin omega so this is the slope of the line given to us in normal form so that is why we can directly put in the equation and what we will get is and so this point will be student if the length of the perpendicular is let's say p so the coordinates of this point will be like the point a will be p cos omega into p sin omega okay so the line will be like h cos omega plus y sin omega equal p this is the equation of the line in normal form so students till now we have discussed different types of or different forms of equation of the line okay so i hope that you are pretty clear about each and every type and if you are still having any doubt or any question based on it then please do comment in the comment section student i will be very happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning